you to get the revenge over the one guy that beat you this year before you go to NCAAs? Um, you know, I've been waiting for this match since November 23rd. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, it, it's big to get that because, you know, that obviously that was my only loss. And, uh, you know, that's that hurt. Um, but again, last five matches um, were all that matters. And uh, if I don't get on top of the podium at NCAAs, then none of this is going to matter. L looking at, you know, him uh, knocking you off in the duel, you know, how much motivation has that been and how much has that driven you downhill towards the MAC championships and the rematch with him? Um, I think it helped me focus on a lot about uh, myself. You know, I, I came in the year second in the country, um, had a lot of confidence. Um, you know, it just helped me um, gain, or helped me to work harder in the room, I guess, and just know that anybody can be beat. And, um, you know, you got to wrestle hard for seven minutes if you want to win against anybody. Um, so I think the loss was good and it was bad, but obviously, you know, no one wants to lose, and I've been waiting for that match for a long time. What about Gabe Dean? You know, you and I talked in Philadelphia after that, the uh, exhibition match, but we've been looking forward to, you know, to getting a hold of Gabe Dean and get, maybe getting another uh, shot at him. Yeah, um, I can't wait for that. Um, hopefully uh, he's one and I'm two, and I can see him in the finals. And, uh, you know, he's, a, he's a good, obviously a good kid, humble kid, um, but we're going, he's trying to steal my dream and that's to be a national champion. So off the mat, I respect him. On the mat, I do not. Congratulations. Thank you. What are going to be the...